I was talking about the power of prayer and about how it is important to understand that every time we pray, it is a form of communication with God. Uh, it doesn't have to be in the traditional sense of being pious and using all kinds of things, you know, like, oh God, or dear God, or Lord. It's fine if you do. Uh, if you, you know, if you fold your hands and kneel down, that's all fine too. But ultimately, prayer is just a form of communication between you and God. So it can be done formally, it can be done informally, however you want. But the most important thing to remember is that it is something which creates a positive energy, a positive thought. And, and the creation of positive energy will always attract a positive um, result or response. Uh, it may not happen the way you think it's going to happen or the way you expect it to happen. It can happen in a variety of ways. And it's important for us to understand that um, that sometimes the way we or, or you know think a prayer is going to be answered is not really the way it's going to be answered. It could be answered in a variety of different ways. And I think that's up to God to decide how to answer your prayers. Um, I read this really interesting book called The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. And in that book, he talks about praying in three, there are three um, steps towards the realization of your desires. Um, the first he calls prayer rising, in which you actually pray, right? You actually talk to God, you, you request God for something. The second step is picturizing or visualizing, in which you, you kind of visualize in your mind what you're looking for. You know, if you, if you want prosperity, think of yourself in a prosperous way. Think of yourself, you know, living in a nice house with a big car, whatever. Your, um, you know, your interpretation of being uh, prosperous is. Uh, if, you, if you want someone to be healed, or if you yourself need healing, imagine yourself healthy, or that, the person that you're praying for, imagine them healthy and happy and vibrant and vigorous. And the third step is actually actualization, wherein um, that's the last step, that's the part that God plays, that you know he gives you the actual thing that you are looking for. And these are, this is a result that is you know directly proportional to uh, perhaps the amount of prayerizing and visualizing that you do. And also Peel talks about uh, something that he calls flash prayers. That is, he says, you know, when you see people, um, shoot out positive energy towards them. Shoot out positive energy of love, of happiness, of joy, of, you know, uh, as he calls it, shoot them with positivity. Flash prayers. So these, these are things which I feel in today's world are very important because there's a lot of negativity happening today. And we, we need positivity, we need love, we need prayers to be answered, we need peace. And if everyone out there just starts shooting out positive rays of flash prayers to people, it is going to have an effect. And I, I strongly would recommend that people do that because we do need a lot of positivity in the world today. And it's a good way for us to contribute to the, you know, the long time peace and prosperity of this planet. So that was me talking about prayer power with you. And um, you can visit my website at www.prashantsolomon.com. I have written an article on prayer power that appeared a few years ago in the Hindustan Times. You can read it at my website or you can visit my blog, which is prashantsolomon.blogspot.com. Thank you very much, and have a good day.